So um, this question asks, an infrared heater uh, for a sauna has a surface area of some amount of area and an emissivity of, ah, okay. I think it's getting to the whole black body radiation um, stuff. <laughs> it's asking what temperature must it run at if uh, the required power is 389 watt. Okay. So I hope you build this kind of a picture here. Um, so if you have some object, uh, let me just, uh, to make my drawing simple, I'm just going to draw a, a, a ball over here. And it has some surface area. And there's some amount of power coming into it somehow through electricity. So there's some sort of a power input. And we are given the required power of 389 watt. And if this heater is a thermal equilibrium or some kind of an equilibrium where it's not heating up, it's not cooling down, then in that scenario, what must be happening is amount of power being emitted through thermal radiation must be equal to the power that's coming in. That's the only way the temperature of the, the heater wouldn't be changing. So by giving you the required power, it's uh, actually giving you the amount of emitted power. So if you get that far, then I think uh, if you remember the, the, the Stefan, I think it's called the Stefan Boltzmann law. Um, let me see if I can remember it. It says um, total amount of power emitted. It's uh, proportional to temperature to the fourth power in Kelvin. Uh, it's uh, quite strange. That's why I have it memorized to the fourth. And there's a coefficient that's going to turn it into an equality rather than proportionality. Uh, that's called the Stefan Boltzmann constant. And I think I don't have to look it up. Wolfram Alpha knows this constant, so I'll just spell it out. And I need to, um, and this would be for a black body. Uh, I don't have a black body. I have an MECFD of 0 0.87. So I need to put in MECVD factor uh, for the correction. So, um, so that would give me power. Now, I, I, I don't want power. I want this solved for the temperature. So let me quickly do that in my head. You can um, verify it for yourself. <laughs> make sure I didn't make a mistake. It's going to be T is equal to power divided by emissivity times the Stefan Boltzmann constant raised to the one fourth power. So let me put that into from alpha and have it just to do that calculation for me. I, I don't want to look up constant and convert units. That's why I'm doing this. 389 watt divided by MECVD 0.87, no unit, times. And I'm just going to spell out Stefan Boltzmann constant and just uh, hope that from alpha looks it up for me correctly. And uh, with from alpha, you should always double check that it understood your input correctly looks like it and um oh, oh i forgot that <laughs> so the weird unit i'm getting it reminds me that i've misremembered the portion of this formula uh, i really needed to have times the surface area and i should use the surface area that i've been given so with the correction i have surface area down here let me make that correction um, so I need to multiply here by area of 0 0.05 meter squared. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is really why you should check units. It'll reveal mistakes that you've made. So 630 uh, Kelvin. 630 Kelvin. So that's uh, what, 300, um, 350 degrees C or so? Because it's hot. Uh, some ovens run hotter, so it's not that hot. Um, yeah.